In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a menu system in the Bender Game Engine. In this example, choosing a track for a car racing game. Click the Add New Scene button, add a new empty scene. Click the Browse Scene button, select the original scene and delete it. Add Camera. Drag to make the properties window wider. Click the object properties button and set the Z location of the camera to five blender units. Add lamp Hemi. Set its Z location to five. Change the view to the camera view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Add text. Press S to scale 0.3 and enter. Use the tips of the arrows to move the text to the left and up a bit. Go into edit mode. Type in the menu options. Press enter at the end of lines. I've jumped ahead to where I've typed in three menu options. Go into object mode. The text is static, so I'm going to convert it to mesh. I'm going to add a material and set the diffuse color to be white. You can set it to whichever color you like. Set the layout to game logic. Set the render to blender game. Set the view to the camera view. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Open up the display panel and set the display shading to GLSL. Drag to close the properties panel. Drag to close the properties panel. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Add a keyboard sensor, an AND controller and a game actuator. Click on key and press 1 on the keyboard. Connect up the logic bricks. Now the game actuator is in the mode that I want, start game from file. Now I would click on the file browser and select the easy version of the game file, but I haven't made it yet. So for now I'm going to file, save as, and save the file as menu.blend. Open the most recent version of the racing game. This is from the tutorial where I showed how to make a head-up display. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Now with the additional scenes that I added, I didn't set the shading to GLSL and I didn't apply material to the text. I'm going to do both those now. Select the text, click the Browse Material button and I'm reusing the finishing line material. And I've got to do that for the Batmobile winning scene. And for the sports car winning scene. Shading 2G LSL and material to the line material. Back to the game scene and file save as I'm going to make this level 2 the intermediate level immediately save as level 1 we're going to replace the intermediate track with an easy track to do that change the layout to default that takes us out of the game scene go back to the game scene in the view menu, toggle out of quad view. In the view menu, go to the top view, zoom back with the mouse wheel, select the track, press X to delete it. File, append. Go to the folder where you have your easy track. You can make a track yourself or download one from my website. Select the file, go into the object folder, select the track and append. Select the track. Press R to rotate 90 and enter. 
Use the tip of the red arrow to move the track to the left. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press G to grab, X for the X direction to fine tune the position of the track. Click the material button, click the browse material button, select the track material. I'm going to quickly add a start finish line. Go into edit mode, select the knife tool, hover over the inside edge, hover over the opposite inside edge, click spacebar to confirm, click the knife tool, hover over the inside edge, hover over the opposite inside edge, click spacebar to confirm, select the face, add a new material slot, click the browse material button, select the line and assign the face to the line material. Go into object mode, change the layout to game logic and we're ready to play the easy level. I'm going to file save to save the changes and file save as level 3 ready to delete the easy track and append in the difficult track. I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer. Now we're ready to go back to the menu file. In the game actuator click the file browse button, select level 1, the level with the easy track. I'm going to give the logic bricks slightly more meaningful names and close them up using the white triangles. Add a keyboard sensor. When 2 is pressed on the keyboard, a signal will go through an AND controller to a game actuator. The actuator will open the file level 2, the level with the intermediate track. Again, I'm going to give meaningful names to the logic bricks and close them up. I've jumped ahead to where I've added the logic bricks for pressing 3 and loading the difficult level. I'm going to test the game by starting it and press 1 for the easy track. And straight away we have a problem with shading, I forgot to set it to texture. Start the game again, press 1 for the easy track. I'm going to cheat by going backwards and if we go far enough back and forwards again we'll complete the two laps. But we're stuck displaying Batmobile wins, we don't return to the menu. To fix the problem we need to reload the levels, we need to go to the win scenes and we need to add a delay sensor. Now there are 60 ticks per second, 120 will give a 2 second delay. We need an AND controller and a game actuator. And if I click the file browse button we need to select the menu file to return to the menu. We have to do that for the wind scenes in all three levels. Both wind scenes, the sports car wind scene, I've already added the logic bricks and we must remember to set the scene back to the game scene before saving. Going back to the menu I've added a cue to quit option, a keyboard sensor to sense cue, and a game actuator that will quit the game. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used and the finished files for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.